hello and welcome to the lecture on passing argument as reference so let's open up the logical flow of examples we learn how to pass a variable reference to the function parameter so when i say reference reference actually means the physical address of a variable in the memory okay we're going to see that example so let's part of this will create this file Let's do an example without passing value as a reference. Then we'll try to convert it into as a reference. Okay. So let's do a function which is add which has a call dollar b we'll type return a type. Typically if you are writing a function and you want to return something you store it in a variable and then you return that variable okay that is a good practice right and if you want to store this function output you are using a result variable right so we are saying echo let's print the result first okay then we are saying dollar result is equal to and one comma two very simple basic stuff here and then we're gonna print the result here okay so quickly let's look into this okay so earlier it was 0 then it is 3 so you are actually assigning the output of this function to this variable okay let's do the similar thing and we'll convert the parameter as a reference so instead of dollar result we will put ampersand so ampersand actually means i want to access this variable physical address okay and i'm gonna say result is equal to a plus b and i'm gonna remove the return and there is no return type for this okay and i'm not gonna pass anything here but i'm gonna pass result as a variable here okay when you have ampersand here it's not the variable value is been passed here we have seen the add method actually returns the value but here when you are passing this variable this variable physical address is been passed onto the result not the value it's a reference means it is a physical address of this result to this result so whenever you change any value at that address the variable value will also be changed so, okay let's look at an example okay so it's again 0 and 3 okay this time this add method is not storing a value into result here we have stored that value into a result but instead we have passed the variable as a reference to it so whenever this value is being changed to this variable automatically it will reflect the variable value okay this is passing as reference and the symbol that we use is ampersand so anywhere you mention ampersand means you are passing that variable as a reference okay and whenever you change this value this value gets affected globally okay so understand this concept this is a very important concept in passing a variable as a reference sometimes you just want to pass something and you want to change it into that function this is a good way of handling those things okay so that's all about how to pass a variable by reference and i'll see you in the next one